An important aspect of managing the um, workbench simulation is to understand the files that are generated and where they are stored. Intelligently, Workbench stores all of the necessary files in the relevant subdirectories which are automatically created in the background and are hidden from the user. However, if the user does want to access these files, this can be done using the View drop-down menu. The user simply has to visit View Files in order to enable the file viewing um, display menu. Here we can see in the lower region of the Workbench um, interface all of the files associated with this particular simulation system. The files highlighted are the Fluent case and data files for the Fluent simulation and they have the cell IDs associated with them, in this case A5. These correspond to the um, cell um, and the cell A5 solution that's uh, listed in the simulate analysis system above A5. We also have the file locations listed so that we can go into those particular locations and recover those files if we needed to, to do some further analysis outside of Workbench. Another useful tool as far as files is the archive tool. This is a way to condense all of the files associated with a particular Workbench um, simulation project and collect them all up together into one Workbench zipped project file which will appear as a WBPZ file. This is useful for um, sending to technical support so that they can um, replicate any of your particular problems and also for transferring between colleagues uh, and um, anyone else who needs to view or recover the file sets. When you archive the file you have some options to include or exclude some of the files of interest. Results and simulation files can be added and we can also add imported files, for example uh, geometry files which are external to the project directory.